guys, in this video, I'll be making a very simple Discord self bot. Or as I make quite a lot of self bot content, and I decided why not share it with you. So let's get into it. So, first, open the code editor of your choice. I'm going to be using VS Code. You can download it from the link in the description. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to do import Discord. And you're also going to do from Discord spell ext import commands then what you're going to do is you're going to define your prefix this is what you'll use to actually like execute commands so you do this and then your command name so i'm going to say it's dot that's a universal thing quite well known for self bots that it's a dot then we'll want to define token this will be your discord token this will be what the self bot uses then we want to define bot this is what will run the code essentially bot equals commands dot bot brackets command underscore prefix equals and then prefix since we already defined that then comma self underscore bot equals true and now that will help that this is what's basically going to run the code then to actually tell if the bot's on we'll do at bot dot vent async define on underscore ready print f this allows us to use those weird curly brackets to import um variables bots dot u dot user dot name now we have that now we want to do bot dot run token bots equals false there we go, it's a simple thing. Python bot.py. But we currently have no token defined. So let's go and get our token. What you want to do is F12 in your preferred browser. When it wants to load. Okay, there we go. Then you can navigate to network. You can click these to open up. Type anything and send the message. This will give us a message request header. In the request header, is in the request or response? In the request header, you'll see something called authorization. Copy this and put it in your token. Now let's run it again. And it doesn't work. Give me one moment. Okay, I fixed the issue. I think I had to have a space there. Let's try that again. Yeah, we did. And this is the code. Go and copy it down. And I will be changing my token so I don't even get any ideas about hacking my account. So we know it's on because we can see it, but is it actually on? Let's try let, let's figure that out. Glur. Now let's do now let's make a command. This will be a nice and simple command. In later videos we will do more raiding related commands, but this is just a test command. And we'll do async define ping this will be what your command name is bracket ctx this is basically like sending messages and things so you can actually edit then you want to do await ctx dot send bracket f there's no need in there just that await ctx to send pong what, what this will do is it will make a command called ping and then when it's when you run ping with your prefix, it will send a message pong. So let's run our code. So it's logged in. Now let's, let's move out of the authorization. Let's do dot ping. And we get a pong back. And this will show you that it's working. Because we can get a response. So just some things you might also want to do. You might want to add a little Instead of just putting bot the user name, you want to say logged in as, and then that. 
that's just logged in in as and that's that's it for this video next video we'll be going over more ra raid related commands but i uh, hope you enjoyed now subscribe please i need views and subscribers please